So there we go, another candy at night review. Then we got a <laughs> Russell Stover's caramel apple. As you're sitting out here chilling in the corner of the basement, hiding. Naughty teenagers. Naughty teenagers, so we're called. But yet we're, yeah. Uh, yeah. 30s and 40s. 30s and 40s and all that. Well, what do you know? Look at that. This particular Russell Stores, I think it's the first one I've opened. It don't have a graham cracker thing underneath it. But yet it's, uh, it's like an apple shaped chunk of funk. And it's got like more dark chocolate stripped across it. You can see it right there. I know my lighting's just god awful up in here, you know. I, I haven't really done anything about that yet, but the light above me came out of a Bennigan's restaurant and when they remodeled they were gonna throw it in the garbage and I just couldn't let them so I brought it home and put it on my ceiling in my bedroom of all places. Well I don't think I should have left this in the refrigerator, baby. This is about Mission Impossible. Look at that. I can't even rip this <laughs> thing in half. Give me a knife. Oh man. Look at that. This is just... <laughs> wow. That took quite a bit of effort to turn half, let me tell you. I want to make sure I get the chocolate off the floor so I don't kill the cat. <laughs> I wonder why I lose my Buddha. I'd be losing lost without him. Yeah, I don't matter, Buddha. <laughs> Well, you matter way more than a cat, but let me tell you, I know chocolate definitely ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> She's destroyed a one pound candy bar right there. It's one of those big ass monster Hershey candy bars you can get at Walmart. They're like Giganonorma. Mm -hmm. You know, it tastes like caramel apple. <laughs> it's really hard to chew. I had a hard time tearing it apart, so I knew it was going to be e easier to chew it. Caramel's definitely thick in this one. Look at that. They heap that stuff up in there. And the chocolate around it is pretty good. You can definitely taste the darker colored chocolate right here. You can taste it. And the chocolate housing around it is also dark chocolate. It's just not as dark of a chocolate. But it's really rich, let me tell you. And it is. I got Hershey's all around my mouth. Let me take a quick look here. Why don't you got a little bit of chocolate on her lips? <laughs> <laughs> I heard a crunch, kaboom noise come out from behind me. I'm like, what are you doing over here? Like, like breaking this thing. It's, it's really thick. It's, it's almost as thick as this. There it is. <laughs> And it's got 280 calories per 157 gram bar. I don't dare read mine. <laughs> um, 120 calories from fat. No, that's probably really off the chart as big of a candy bar as it is. <laughs> 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 100 milligrams of sodium. Total carbohydrates is 38 grams. Dietary fiber. You need another candle. It's pretty good. Yeah, we need to get some new candles. This one does not have um, the processed on peanut or nut warning on it. So for those of you who, are, wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, I am wrong. I spoke before I thought. There it is right down there. Warning about peanuts and processed equipment. Sorry guys, I guess I almost thought I found one that y'all could have, but uh, once again I have failed. Here's a caramel apple from Russell Stover's, however, and uh, I'm gonna rate this probably about a 2.75 out of 5. Uh, it's just, you know, if it was really good, I probably would have destroyed it by now. But you can see I haven't been able to. It's not bad. I like caramel, but not in mass doses like this. This is just way too much for me. And uh, for that, that's a much better brand right there. I could sit and eat that whole thing with her. I might have a few pieces if she lets me.
<laughs> the war's gone. <laughs> so you have it, everybody. This is our late night candy bar review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought. And until next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching.